Hi, I'd like to just give a quick demo of the Squeak Smalltalk Tiled Maps library uh, that I've just released. So this is a uh, fresh Squeak 6.0 image, uh, almost fresh, the only thing that I've done to it is update it. Uh, so uh, having the updates is important to run this library uh, because there are some important fixes to the promises implementation that are in the trunk. So if you update your image, make sure you're at uh, 17,760 update level uh, or higher, uh, then things should go well. So the first thing we have to do is install the code and that's done with an ordinary old Monticello uh, configuration. So here I'm just installing it from the Squeak source repository called Tiled Maps. So I'll select this text and do it. That'll kick off the process. And there's the transcript showing us that everything has downloaded and installed OK, so we can close that. Uh, and the next thing is, let's just open up a map morph, a tiled map morph in the world. So I'll select this, tiled map morph, new, open in world, and do it, and there we have our map. So by default, um, the map morph in the mapping library uses uh, tiles downloaded from the uh, OpenStreetMaps uh, tile set, uh, and it uses a, a geocoding API that is also associated with, uh, with OpenStreetMaps. Uh, you can change that to other sources of tiles such as uh, Bing and so on and maybe you know the uh, OpenStreet uh, cycling database, transport database and so forth. And you can change the geocoder as well to uh, the Bing geocoder or the, the Google uh, geocoder, uh, anything else that can give you latitude and longitude from a free text query. So um, we've got our morph open, I've stored it in the, instant, in the local variable called m here, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Do that a few times. You can see that it's an uh, ordinary map. As I scroll around here, you see it's filling in the tiles uh, on the fly lazily in the background. Um, you can zoom out, of course. Uh, and the geolocation API takes a free text query and um, goes to the first uh, result returned by whichever service you're using. So if I do this, uh, it will zoom in on the University of Glasgow, which is just down the road from me at the moment. And I can just remove the marker from the map there. We can see a little bit of Glasgow. Right, so the uh, next thing is, uh, let me just load in something I prepared earlier, which is an implementation of the Bing Maps API, uh, which happens to have my own private API key associated with it. So in your own code, you would run uh, Bing Maps API new and then you would supply it an API key that you got from the Bing uh, developer website. Um, I've done that before and I've saved that uh, on a file here. Uh, so now we have a Bing API. So let's load a different tile set. So here we'll select Bing's Arial with Labels on Demand tile set and we'll assign that to the tile source of our morph. Now we've got satellite imagery. Go back and we can zoom in again a little bit more. See some of the detail here, which is nice. Go back to where we started. Um, we can load up the uh, roadmaps that thing makes available, or we can go back to the default tile set, which as I said was the OpenStreetMap tile set. Um, the geolocation API, of course, um, can take queries regarding anywhere in the planet. Here we've gone to Tokyo, uh, to Boston, uh, to New Zealand, and uh, to the Sahara Desert in Africa. Uh, except here we're seeing that the, um, the default geocoder, um, the nominum geocoder uh, associated with OpenStreetMap, it has uh, many results, you know, it'll often give you an answer, but sometimes um, it has trouble um, finding the places you're interested in. So let's try out some of the other geocoders. So here's the, um, the Bing Maps API that I loaded before with my API key pre-configured. So running this command here will uh, install the, the Bing geocoder uh, in our morph. Done. So now if we go back up to the top here, we can go and revisit Haneda. You can notice how it's in a slightly different location than it was before. If I go back to the nominatum geocoder and then re-search for Haneda, 
It'll give us a slightly different answer. This is zoomed out compared to the resolution that Bing wanted to give us. Let's go back to Bing. So there's Haneda, Fenway Park, Piha, and now uh, it knows where the Sahara is. Uh, and the other alternatives are you could use um, the default, the Dominatum geocoder, or this Google geocoder. Here's what Google thinks Haneda is. Fenway Stadium. Oh. Now one of the things about the Google one is that it seems to have some kind of a rate limit applied to it because there's no API key and presumably they're fairly busy so uh, sometimes it will um, give you no results a few times in a row before giving you an answer. Yeah, it's decided that we're querying quite often there's Piha and here's what Google's impression of the Sahara Desert is. Here it knows that the Sahara is in fact a desert. So just go back to Nomination geocoder. Now the last thing that I want to show you uh, is the fact that this morph here is a full eToys morph and so the viewer works on it and there's a little viewer category called maps here. So we can create a few scripts, one for zooming in maybe, one for zooming out, one for doing a search. So let's call this one zoom in. Good, call that one zoom out. I'll call this one search the map. Okay, so with the zoom in one, we'll just get a, get ourselves a button to fire the script there. So if I click on that now, it'll zoom in a bit. It's good. Now I can dismiss that script. If I get a button to fire the zoom out script, try that. That'll zoom out. I can dismiss that script. For this one, I want to be able to specify the search string. So I'm going to create myself a text morph, uh, let's see, from alphabetical list, I want a text morph, there it is, so there's my text morph, let's make it a bit larger, let's make the font bigger, and let's give it a background colour that is not completely transparent. And we'll give it a name. Map search text. Alright, so the next thing to do is to connect it up to our search script, which we still have open. So if I open a viewer for the text morph now, you can see here that there is a resource called its characters, which I will drag out. So it's showing me that the characters of the map search text are currently ABC, and I can just put that over the piece in the script here. So now this script, when it's run, it will cause tiled map to locate map search texts characters. So I can try that now by running the script and it's found somewhere called ABC in, uh, in China. So let's now get a button for firing this script. Let's put it right there. Dismiss the script. Now let's try something. Let's try that. Sure enough, it's found our Grand Canyon National Park. You can zoom in a little bit. Maybe switch our imagery over to some satellite imagery. And there we have it. So that's a quick demo of the Tiled Maps um, library for, for Squeak Small Talk. You can uh, view the project homepage at uh, squeaksource.com slash tiledmaps.html with a capital T and a capital M. Uh, my name is Tony Garnock Jones. Feel free to email me. Uh, I'm also at uh, Least Fixed Point on Twitter, and uh, my blog is at uh, leastfixedpoint.com.